Welcome to this leveling up workshop. So in this workshop, we're going to look at creating animated background for your Zoom windows. So we've looked already at how to create just a straight image, but we can actually use animation inside of it. So you can add video to the Zoom background. So if you guys are already editing, doing these kind of things, you can add these really cool backgrounds that move inside of Zoom when you're broadcasting. You might have seen me do that a few times. I do that with my personal account, um, my personal business. I've got a like it glows kind of thing, but I've done it a few times inside Zenlu as well. So we're going to look at that now now the only thing we need to do instead of exporting out as a jpeg or a flat image type we need to export out as an mp4 which is a video format that would be accepted by zoom so once again hoping that you're all working in hd here we're going to work in high hd that's 1920 by 1080 and we're going to go and create a design we're going to go custom design and we're going to come down to here and just type these settings in here 1920 by 1080 1920 by 1080 okay we're going to click create new design now what we're showing here is you can use this same method for other formats as well so if you were working on a phone and you were editing maybe to upload to something like TikTok, instagram or any of these you could use this same technique as well and use that as a background when you're editing your video just so you know so let's go in straight away and let's create some let's grab some animations already in here I'm not going to get into creating animations from scratch because that would be using lots of different programs I want to keep this really easy I just want you to understand the principle of what we can do here so you can see this one here is uh, free I'm using a free camera account by the way and inside here you can see this nice uh, logo thing going on so this uh, animates around like this looks really cool and this could work you know this could work really well so let's just go and do something in here you can change all this text so let's go let's advertise my the youtube channel here so let's go um youtube.com forward slash oh let's do let's do the new hashtag hashtag zenla okay so that will work for there i'm going to change this by the way um Let's choose something like that. Let's change it in here and put get trained, something like that. So that looks nice. So you can see that the bit that's actually animated is this and it's right behind me, which is not the best in the world. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all. Let's detach this from the background. Oops. And let's center back. Okay. So notice that this is separate. So we can put these elements that we've got here in the corner. So I'm just doing this so that it fits. So I'm just moving things around. So though that's animated inside there, we can still move these elements around. So I'm going to go into here, just move this down. So that's good. We got some of the other elements. I think that one there. Let's move that down in size. So we're playing around with the animation. We know that background animates, but we, the rest of it, we don't care. And I've got another one that's there. I'm actually going to put that down the bottom. So what I want to do is I actually want to use uh, a black and I want to put that as the background. So I'm going to come into elements and I'm going to go into a nice square here. Let's just use the same color. So by the way, I can use the color picker here. I can pick that color so it's exactly the same. Now I'm going to bring this across right the way across. So you can just use ones by default if you just want to drop one straight in there. This is this is a fairly involved job putting all this stuff in, but now I'm going to right hand click and I'm going to go center back. Bang is in there. So now I've got this nice animated logo going in. I might want to just position it a little bit better inside here and you can put whatever you like in there. Let's just add out um, Zen the logo as well. So I'm going to drop the Zen logo into here 
and bring it down in size put it in this corner do something like that so it will fit so this background color that I created is the same as the background of this animated part so that will work well now I can go into here and I can animate this so if I go into animating settings you can do this kind of zoom do you notice if you do this it kind of wipes in pops and I can set that to pop inside there and that should be good so now I've got a little bit of animation going on um, playback loop forever let's just do loop forever all right well let's actually let's just do loop once because it's going to repeat so let's just go into the playback okay that's good right so now we've got that we're going to export it out so i'm going to go to here share i'm going to go download we're going to it's already selected mp4 so we're going to select mp4 and we're going to download that so i'm going to click that it's going to download onto my desktop i'm going to now just jump into zoom and show you how that effect is going to happen inside zoom so it's just going to take a bit longer because obviously it's a video file so it's not just an image where it's going to go bump so we're going to let that download and we're going to see what happens when we're in there. Now remember we added a little bit of an effect to here. There's an effect on here and this has got a video background. So it's going to be quite interesting, but it will show you how you can animate things. And remember when it gets to the end of that video, so if you're looping it, if you do one loop inside of Zoom, it will just keep repeating it. So you can keep repeating that. So automatically it'll loop the video, it'll play, then it'll start, play, start, play, start, and it will carry on like that. So now that's downloaded, we're gonna jump into Zoom now. We're gonna look how that looks. Hi guys, welcome back. Right, let's go in. We're open Zoom now. We're gonna go into the settings on the right hand side. That's gonna open up a little tab for us. And we're going to just go down to video and you can see, you can see me now, I'm in here, but I'm gonna put in the new background. So we're going to go background effects and this time we're going to click in here and we're going to click video and I've already put it on my desktop. You can see the video waiting there and I'm going to click open. So watch what happens now. So now we've got this cool animation going on. So it's going to go around us when it finishes, it's going to keep repeating. So this is just going to keep repeating. You can see that going around and it's just repeating. It looks really cool. Look, if I go over the top of it, I can go over the top of that. So animated zoom backgrounds they can really grab people's attention that was all done with the free account inside canva but remember you could create your own animations and you could incorporate them in there if you've got your own animations set up at 1920 by 1080 you can put them in there and remember if you're just doing that animation and it repeats you can set that so it keeps on repeating it will keep looping around inside there so if you want it to stay stable for a bit add more time onto your video okay output that bring it in the same techniques and you've got these cool animated effects going on uh, inside your zoom backgrounds can be really eye-catching and also just take you a level above everybody else